investigation into that Midlothian police officer is still ongoing, but those who are advocating for charges to be brought onto that police officer, they say after seeing this autopsy, at least it provides some insight, some clarity into what happened that November night. Anytime a young man is shot uh, in the right flank and in the back, um, I don't see the justification and that tonight Stringer Harris, a friend and longtime security guard reacting to an autopsy report just released by the medical examiner, revealing 26 year old Jamel Roberson was shot in the right side of the back, had a quarter inch by quarter inch round entrance type gunshot wound and the right abdomen and right flank had three closely spaced entrance type gunshot wounds. Based on what I read, um, he was shot in the back. This confirms the fact that he was not a threat to Ian Colby. Last November, gunshots sparked chaos inside Manny's Blue Room Lounge in Robbins. It sent people scrambling away and police officers from several departments running towards the nightclub. In the confusion, Midlothian police officer Ian Covey, who was white, shot and killed Roberson, who was working security. I'm telling him he's working with us. Cool out. He's working with us. He shot him four or five times after we told him he's with us. Police body camera video shows the moments after Roberson was shot. There's no video of the actual shooting. The autopsy findings now providing more answers into the 26-year-old's death. The fact that today we were able to accomplish and get some facts, I think that's a good, you know, that's, that's leading in the right direction for his family. We want the right charges given to this officer. The Illinois State Police are leading this investigation. Their findings will be handed over to Kim Fox's office. They will determine if charges are appropriate. We are live in the control room tonight. Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News, Erica. Thank you, Charlie.